guys, this is Trisha with another motivational moment. My topic today is about don't forget God when he gives you what you needed. So many people get stuff from God, you know, they pray about it and pray about it, and they finally get what they want from God. And once they get what they want from God, they forget about him. Um, I'm going to tell you as a Christian, when God gives you something, when he gives you something, when he really gives you something, don't forget about him. He gave you that to see and test you and see if you're going to forget about him. Most of the time, when people get big blessings for God, they forget about who gave them that blessings. They get it, but when things go start going bad again, they want to bring God's name up again. When God give you something that's wonderful, that's amazing, that's beautiful, don't forget about God because God will forget about you the next time go around. So when he give you something, always pray about it. Always thank him. Be thankful for what he give you, whatever it is, because he didn't have to give it to you. But usually when people get stuff, they always ignore God. They put God on the back burner like he doesn't even exist. You guys got to understand, God gave you that blessing for a reason. If God gave you that blessing for a reason, you got to praise him like it's your last day. Remember that that's the one who gave you that. Don't put him on the back burner like he doesn't exist. He does exist. He gave you that blessing for a reason, so he wants you to praise him because he gave you that. He didn't have to give it to you, but he did. God always said what he has for you is for you. So if he gave you something wonderful, something great, he wants you to praise him. One thing about me, when I get blessings, and even if I don't get blessings, I always praise God because that is my number one friend, my father, my sister, my brother, my everything that that I don't have. So when God is around, I try to, you know, try to be the best that I can be. And that's every day because he's around me every day. So when God give you a blessing, when God give you anything, I don't care if it's something little, don't leave him. Don't leave him and turn away from him when times get good. But when times get bad, you bring him back up again. If God gave you something amazing, keep praising him until the last day. Just keep on praising him. God do not want you to ignore him. You got to understand God is a jealous God. So if he giving you something wonderful and amazing in your life, he wants you to praise him until you can't praise him no more. I don't know why when people get things from God, they act like he don't exist anymore. He exists. He the one keeping us breathing, but we always act like he don't exist. When he give us something, we don't even want to be bothered anymore. He act, you act like he's some right, somebody here on earth right now. You ignore him. Do not ignore God. God is keeping us breathing. God is keeping us achieving. If he gave you a gift, if he gave you anything wonderful in your life, don't forget about God when he gave you something. You prayed for that gift, and he gave you that gift. And you prayed and prayed for that gift, and he gave you another gift. And you prayed and prayed again for that gift, and he gave you another gift. But when it's time to really, really get down to it, when you got what you wanted, you left him high and dry like you do people here on earth. Do not leave God high and dry because he don't leave you. Even when you got that gift and you didn't pray after you got that gift, he was still by your side. One thing about God, he would never leave you nor forsake you, even though you leave him every day and put him on the back burner with the devil. You got to say to yourself, God, you know what? You are amazing. Thank you for blessing me with this gift. And even if God didn't bless you with nothing right now, always pray in advance for it, even though it haven't came. That's what I do. When God have blessed me with something, I pray. Even when I don't have my blessing, I still pray because I know it is coming. It is around the corner. All I have to do is stay obedient and be stay prayed up. So when God bless you with something, do not forget about him. Let me say that one time. When God blesses you with something wonderful, don't forget about him. He gave that to you for a reason. So if God gave you that for a reason, he want to hear from you sometime. Don't wait two to three weeks down the line just for God to hear from you. Did God take two or three weeks to give you that blessing? No, absolutely not. He gave you that blessing when you asked for it. So if he asks you just for a little of your time just to read the Bible or open up the Bible and talk about him or tell a friend about how good God has been to you, that's all he asks. That's why people get their blessing because they talk about God to somebody else. Tell them, tell those person how good God has been to you. God has been great to me. Let me tell you, God has been great to me. I have not been where I want to be at yet, but you know what? I'm fine where I'm at already until God blesses me more. So when God gives you something, let me say that one more time. When God give you something, thank him. Don't stop thanking him. Don't wait three or four days later and forget about him. If he gave you a blessing, 
don't forget about him. So many people forget about him. So many people bring his name up when they are in trouble. But when they are not in trouble, they have nothing to do with God. We got to bring God's name up all the time, not sometime, but all the time. God want to hear from you. God want to hear you talk to him. God wants you to meditate with him. God wants you to pray with him. God just want to hear from you. I pray to God all the time about stuff in my life. My life ain't like it's supposed to be, but that's okay. It's okay right now because I know God is working. I'm, I'm a work in process, and I know he's going to fix it, and he's going to fix you guys' life too. But you got to pray some more. You got to open up the Bible. You cannot forget about him when you got that good old blessing coming to you. I don't care if it's a small blessing. Usually when you get a small blessing, you got to understand this. Usually when you get a small blessing, you got to understand that big blessing is on its way. The only way you're going to get that big old blessing, you got to stay humble. Not only stay humble, you have to believe. Not only believe, you have to love one another to get that big old blessing. Big old blessings just don't come like that when you're not staying humble, when you're not prayed up, not when you're loving one another. You got to love people forever. You got to love them for real. You got to stay obedient. Mostly people want God to bless them with everything, and they're not even obedient. Mostly people want God to bless them with so much stuff, and they don't even love one another. You can't want God to bless you with something, and you're not even loving one another. You can't want God to heal you when you don't even love one another. You don't want God, you, you just want God to do so much stuff for you and you're not even loving people. We got to love one another. We got to pray for one another. We got to know when God give us something, we don't want to turn our back on God. We want to still stay there, be there for him, love him, talk to him. Don't talk to him when things are going bad. Don't talk to him when you got that first blessing the first day and he don't hear from you no more. God want to hear from you all the time, not sometime. Guys, you got to understand God is a one-time God. And if he gave you a gift on time, he wants you to pray for him on time, believe in him on time, talk to him on time. Just spend a little time with God. Stop ignoring him. If he gave you what you want, give him what he wants. Just a little of your time. That's all he wants. He just wants a little of your time. He's not acting like for your time all day. He just wants a little bit of your time. If you give God a little bit of your time, you'll see how things will turn around in your life. Everything is not what it's supposed to be in my life right now. But you know what? God is working on me. I'm quite sure he's working on you too. But you got to trust and believe in him. And you cannot put him on the back burner. You got to put him in front of you or beside you and let him walk beside you. And let him know that I am paying attention to you. And let him know that I am here for you. And let him know that I am praying about everything that's going on in my life. And I'm just praying for one another too, not just myself. You let God know these things. And also remember, don't put God back there. Put him beside you. Don't stop praying. Don't stop believing in yourself. I don't care what goes on in your life. I don't care how, thing, how things seem right now. Things may seem a certain way, but that doesn't mean it's going to be that way. We got to understand that things get better in time, but it get better in God's time. We got to understand. So don't forget about God when He get what you, when you get what when you get what you prayed for. Mostly people forget about them. Once they get what they prayed for, once they get that big blessing, God don't hear from you no more. We don't want to do that to God. That's like you're using him. So when God give you something that you prayed so hard for and he finally gave it, give it to you, be thankful. Praise him every day. Say, thank you, Jesus. I am so appreciative. You got to let him know that you appreciate what you got from him. You got to let him know that you are there. You are going to continue on praying. You're going to praise him. You're going to worship him to the end. So don't forget about God when he gave you something that you prayed so hard for. Don't forget about God when he got you that beautiful car that you prayed so hard for. Don't forget about God when he healed your body. Don't forget about God when he smiled upon your face. Don't forget about God when he wiped those tears away. Don't forget about God. God will never leave us. No matter what we do, no matter how we forget about him, when we get that big old blessing, God is still there. So what I want to tell you guys as a Christian, as a woman, 
ask you who I want to be. To you guys, don't forget about God. God loves you to the end. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Always love him to the end. Always put God first. No matter what you do in life, you got to put him first. Thank you guys for listening to the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. You guys have an awesome, awesome day. And don't forget to pray. Don't forget to smile. And always, always be humble. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.